Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel that is Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. As we all know that most of the NADH and FADH2 uh, which are entering into the electron transport chain which is located inside the mitochondria are derived from the beta oxidation of fatty acid and Krebs cycle which are also located in the mitochondria itself. But what about the NADH which are synthesized at the end of glycolysis which is located far away from the mitochondria in the cytosolic side. And this cytosolic NADH are impermeable to the inner mitochondrial membrane. So how this cytosolic NADH will be transported to the mitochondrial site? They will be transported with the help of one important shuttle system that is called as a malate aspartate shuttle. So today we are going to learn malate aspartate shuttle. So let's see how this malate aspartate shuttle operates. The first, this malate aspartate shuttle is highly active in the liver, kidney and heart mitochondria. And as we all know that this is inner membranous space, this is inner mitochondrial membrane and this is the mitochondrial matrix. Now the uh, reducing equivalent from the cytosolic NADH will be transferred to the cytosolic oxaloacetate and this oxaloacetate will be converted to the malate with the help of cytosolic malate dehydrogenase enzyme. So that is the first step of this malate aspartate shuttle. Now this malate will be transported to the mitochondrial matrix with the help of malate transporter. This A stands for malate transporter. Fine. So this malate will be transported to the mitochondrial matrix along with the reducing equivalents. Now, reducing equivalent from the mallet will be transferred to the mitochondrial NAD plus and it will lead to the synthesis of oxaloacetate from the mallet with the help of mitochondrial mallet dehydrogenase enzyme and at the end of this, this reaction there is a synthesis of NADH which will enter into the electron transport chain and it will lead to the synthesis of 2.5 molecules of ATP. Now this oxaloacetate is impermeable to the inner mitochondrial membrane. So this oxaloacetate will undergo transamination reaction with the help of glutamate and it will be converted to the aspartate with the help of amino aspartate amino transferase enzyme which also require PLP that is the coenzyme of vitamin B6 as a coenzyme. So there is a synthesis of uh, aspartate at the end of transamination reaction and this glutamate will be converted to the alpha ketoglutarate and this alpha ketoglutarate again it will be transported to the inner membranous space with the help of malate alpha ketoglutarate transporter. Now aspartate which is synthesized at the end of this reaction will be transported to the inner membranous space and again it will go to the transamination reaction with the alpha ketoglutarate and it will be converted to the oxaloacetate and glutamate with the help of aspartate amino transferase which also require PLP as a coenzyme. So at the end of this reaction there is a synthesis of oxaloacetate. Fine. Now glutamate which is synthesized over here it can transport it to the mitochondrial matrix as well. So this is all about the mallet aspartate shuttle. Hope you have find this information useful. Please like, share and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. Thank you.